Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and demo of the Kylie Cosmetics Vacation Edition collection? Yeah, whatever it's called, the Vacation Collection. My friend Mary Rose was able to get her hands on all of these products and she's been kind enough to let me use it and demo it for you guys. So thank you Mary Rose. I'm so excited to try this out for you guys and kind of show you guys and tell you it, about it and review it for you. Um, but before we get into it, don't forget to stop watching and subscribe to join the family and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you know whenever I upload. So let's just get into it. Okay guys, so first we are going to be talking about the Take Me On Vacation Palette. Ooh, okay, can I just say that I love like the aesthetic of her packaging for this. Like, I just love how she did it. I don't know. I think it's really cute, really summery. So I'm going to start by just showing you guys it and then I'll do the swatches of the colors okay so this is what it looks like super cute super shiny I love how like soft the packaging feels I don't know if that's weird Ooh, isn't that a view all right guys so this is all of the colors the top row is first class summer 17 pina colada starfish island grill sail away aloha and palm tree and then it is sea breeze coconut paradise on the rock sunset spray tan luxury and surfboard so that is all of the colors and it comes with this nice brush which is really cool so now I'm just gonna do swatches Okay guys, so now that I'm done the top row, I'm going to do the bottom row on here. And that is the bottom row. There you go, that's the eyeshadow palette swatches. Okay guys, well I ended up just going ahead and swatching everything. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of swatches on myself. <laughs> so I swatched first so that I could just review them now for you guys. So starting off with the Vacation, vacation palette, I definitely noticed that some were a little bit more buttery than others. Like... Some of the mattes had a little bit more pigmentation than some of the others, so there's a little bit of inconsistency with pigmentation because some were like, oh my god, this is so buttery, and others were like, meh, felt kind of chalky, I guess. But overall, I definitely love this. It's super cute. Like, I love how they have that pop of blue color. It's super pretty. And I like that she has some warm tones and cool tones because it's nice when you can have a little mixture of both in a palette. And also a mixture of matte and shimmer shades is always nice, too. So overall, this is pretty cool. I mean, all of the swatches were pretty good, but you can definitely see in the swatch video that some were a little bit more pigmented than others. But overall, it was pretty good palette. So next, I'm going to be talking about these bad boys. These are, what are they called? Hold on. The Ultra Glow Loose Powder Highlight. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. I wish I got these. These were only $15 too. And I tried to get them. I was so close. I was in that like waiting part when you were about to check out forever and I gave up. So these get like 20 thumbs up because oh my god, they're beautiful. They're a little messy because they're loose powder highlights. So they kind of try to get everywhere. Um, but I mean, you guys saw those swatches. Like look at how beautiful. Santorini is my favorite by far. Like, oh my god. Um, I think Fiji is the, Tahiti is the more pinky one, and then Santorini is the really, really shimmery one, and then the one all the way is Fiji. So this is Fiji, this is Tahiti, and this is Santorini. I love Santorini, it is definitely my favorite. Oh my god, is it pigmented! Ah! It's so beautiful! And I like this one because it's a little bit more gold. This one's more pinky tone, but they're all beautiful. Beautiful. Like, can she please restock these? I will be jump on that so fast. And I'm so mad because she did restock them, but I didn't know, so I didn't buy them because I didn't know she had a restock of them. 
but if she ever restocks these I will be on it and get these because they're so amazing oh my god they're beautiful they're so pigmented and they're just like holy moly will these make you glow to the gods We can add that nose dollop. Woo! Look at that highlight. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Ultra glow highlights. I think she should sell these year round. Like, these are so amazing. I wish they weren't just for the summer. Like, shoot, I'll be wearing this poppin' highlight all year round. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is the glitter glosses um, in the shades Glitz and Glamour, which I think has really cute names. Um, I showed you guys the arm swatches. One is more pinky and one is more orangey toned. Starting off with Glamour. I've never really you do a glossy lip, but oh my god, I'm kind of digging this. Because on the swatch, it looks very orange, but on the lips, it kind of looks like pinky toned. Oh my god, I'm digging this. Ooh, okay. This is great. Oh my god, I love this. I'm going to be swatching glitz on the lips. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, oh my god, I love these so much more than I thought I would. Oh my god. I love this. Ooh, I'm way too excited about this. And then I will also be doing that with the Send Me Nudes palette, lipsticks, you'll get lip swatches for these too. However, these are so hard to get off, which is good because that means they're long lasting. And this is the matte one too, I forgot to mention that. But overall, these are all really good as well. Like the pigmentation, you only need one swipe and it's like done, which is nice because you don't have to layer it up, which means that it'll, the product will last longer. And uh, I love the packaging. Like it is so silky and soft and cool. And I love how it's matte. I, I love when matte products are matte, like on the packaging too. It's so cute. Yeah, overall these colors are very nice. They seem very universal. They dry fast. They definitely, they have that vanilla scent that all of the Kylie lip kits do. But yeah, I don't really know if I have a favorite. I think, I love Naked. I don't know. I think that's what that's called. Okay guys, so I am done lip swatching, arm swatching, testing everything and demoing everything. Now it is time for the final thoughts and you know, okay. So starting with the Send Me Nudes matte collection, I was pleasantly surprised by how I liked all of them. I was worried about originally some of the colors because I'm like I said, I normally wear more cool tone um, lipstick because I have more of a blue undertone. Um, so I was kind of worried about the warm tones in here, but the, I, they were very pleasantly surprising. So I actually really love every single color in here. Highly recommend the Send Me Nudes. 
Next, I'll talk about the ultra glosses, the ultra, the super glitter glosses. Oh my god, these sh had me shook. I was so surprised. I never wear glosses. I never wear glittery glosses. So when I tried these on, I was so pleasantly surprised. I actually loved them. They look so cool and awesome on the lips. Oh my god, I highly recommend. These are so, they're so cute and they're different. Like, I love that too. They're not like normal matte lipstick like they're very different which i i really i really dig ultra glow loose powder highlights you guys know i'm obsessed with these the pigmentation in them is so incredible and i want them <laughs> i want i want all of this stuff so i'm gonna go on kylie kylie's website and see if she has any of this left i doubt it but why not look i wasn't too pleased with the take me on a vacation palette i feel like compared to everything else this was just kind of like average but everything else like exceeded my expectations and i loved so i was a little let down by the take me by vacation palette just simply because um some of the colors weren't as pigmented or buttery as others and i like consistency which is why i loved these like lip stuff and the highlighters because their consistency was there and pigmented and so easy to use and i mean these are easy to use too colors are beautiful I still think it's a really good palette. I just, I was a little let down compared to ever how amazing everything else was. I liked this, but I didn't love it. I wasn't obsessed with it. But everything else, oh my god, I want it all. <laughs> Alright guys, well that is it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below any video requests. Stop shooting and subscribe to join the fam, right? And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye. Mwah.